Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part two of my Filter by Date of Birth series, where I teach you how to filter a customer list by their date of birth first to make the list shorter and make them easier to find. This is part two, where we're going to do the developer VBA way to find the customer list. If you haven't watched part one yet, well, that's okay. You don't have to if you don't want to see the non-VBA way to do it. Today, we're going to pretty much start from scratch and do the same thing using some VBA. So strap in. Here we go. All right. So in part one, we made a date of birth filter box. And then our customer list just opens up based on this query. And the query has the criteria in it. And then the customer form, customer list form, gets its data from the customer list query. Well, if you know a little bit of SQL and VBA, it's actually, in my opinion, easier than having to go through all this. You just open up the form directly with getting the data from the table, straight out of the table, and you can either add filtering using a where condition or you can use a filter property. Before we get started, this is a developer level video, so if you've never programmed in VBA before, go watch this, it'll get you started, teach you everything you need to know in about 20 minutes. You'll need to know how to do an if then statement. If you don't go watch this video and if you're not fil uh, filter, if you're not familiar, <laughs> I had filter on the mind. If you're not familiar with how to use the filter filter on uh, properties, go watch this video. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this query here in case you guys want to have it for the, the database uh, gold members. Um, but we're going to take our customer list F this thing and put the record source back to where it was before customer t we don't need a query to do what i'm going to show you how to do right now save that close it all right this button currently opens up the customer list but i believe if memory serves it's using an embedded macro let's see build event and oh no it's using code okay sometimes when you build buttons using the command button wizard it builds uh, embedded macros, which I teach in the beginner classes because they're easier, but you really want to use VBA if you're going to be doing any serious development. So this is right here, how it opens up that form. Okay. Now, like I said, there are two ways to do it. You can either use a where condition or you can use the filter properties. First thing I want to do though, is check to make sure that the user has typed in a filter. If not, we're going to have the same problem we had in the last class, where if it's null, you're going to see no values. So we're just going to first say if is null DOB filter, then just do that. Open it up normally without any criteria or whatever. Okay. Otherwise else do something else. Now it's going to start off the same. Okay. It's going to start off with that. Okay. And again, there's two ways to do it here. You can use a where condition, which is comma, comma, comma right there where condition ignore this thing here that says filter name it doesn't work the way you think it works it requires a query and it just no i wish this didn't even exist ignore that never use it what you want is where condition okay and here's where you can put what you want for your filter for your where condition so in this case i'm going to say customer sense equals and then in pound signs because it's a date field uh dob filter and pound sign and that's it that's the easy way to do it all right takes that dob filter whatever it is you know 1972 1023 puts it inside of these guys so it's a valid date and then sends this whole thing as a wear condition okay and someone's beaming in hold on energize for those of you who are new that's just my hourly chime that goes off in the background okay debug Com oh, debug compile there we go come back out yeah close it save changes yes open it up hit that it just opens normally but if i put my date of birth in here 1972 10 23 hit it and there i am and malcolm reynolds too he's cool okay so that works let me show you the second method in case you want to use the second method which one's better i don't know i've always used this method myself but it's totally up to you if you want to use the other method. So I'm going to just rem this out and leave it there. So again, you've got it in the database if you download it. Okay. The second method is going to be use the filter property. It's 
basically the same thing. So I'm just gonna copy this, put it there. Here, I'll put, I'll put some notes in here too, all right? Where condition method, okay? And then the next one here is gonna be the filter property method. Lots of ways to do things in Microsoft Access. So you're gonna open the form, and then you're gonna say forms customer F dot filter equals some stuff. What's the stuff? It's this stuff right there. Copy it, paste it, okay? So you're setting that in the filter property. Then you just gotta make sure the filter's on. Forms customer F dot filter on equals true. And that's it, that's all. That's all I gotta do, it's not hard. And it basically has the same effect as the other one. There's some minor differences, but oh, don't worry about it. Right? Boom. Oh, I got all in. Oh, duh. My bad. Anybody see what I did wrong? I'm going to leave this in the video. <laughs> see what I did there? Take a moment, pause the video. It's a learning uh, experience for you guys and a, and a duh experience for me. I see sometimes I'm talking to you and I'm not, my brain doesn't pay attention. Right, can't find customer F, right? Why? Well, because I'm not working with customer F. I'm just so used to typing in customer F because 99% of the examples that I teach in these classes are customer F and not customer list F. Save it. And that's one of those things. That's a runtime error, folks. That's not something that compiles, compilers are going to find. That's not a compile time. It's not a syntax error either. All right, now let's try it. And okay, there it goes. That you can see the records all show up briefly and then they flash away like that. Right? If you watch it carefully, watch. You see all the records and then they get filtered. Whereas with the other method, if you rem these ones out and you do it with this one, it doesn't do that. Watch. Boom. It just opens up faster. It is a little quicker this way. Because the other one, it loads all the records up and then it applies a filter. Whereas with this method, it literally just only loads the records that you need. It's still a filter. You can still unfilter it, and then it will go and load the rest of the records. So from a user standpoint, it's pretty much the same thing. Now, what if it's not a form that you want to open? What if it's a combo box, which was what the original question, I believe, mentioned was using it with combo boxes. Well, we could put a date of birth filter here on any form you want, like this combo box. And this combo box normally has a big giant long list of customers in there. But if you're going to create a new one and you want to filter this new record, let's say, uh, you know, new order, right? And I'm going in here and I got thousands of customers. Well, it'd be nice if I could filter them in here, 1972, 1023. And then, oh, look at that. I just filtered that combo box. Well, I will show you how to do that, ladies and gentlemen in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download these databases and they get access to the code vault and everybody gets free lessons every month and it's just, it's a wonderful, joyous thing to be. So click that join button today. But that is gonna be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. 
But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page 
that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.